This is a Stanford University grade card of 1943 where I took six major subjects at Stanford. Can you imagine that? I'll give you a little background on it. I was drafted in Alabama in 1942 and they shipped me to Camp Adair, Oregon, 104th Infantry Division, Timberwolves, for basic training. And the Secretary of War at that time said, we, all these people going in the Army, nobody's going to schools, so we'll send some of them, the GIs with good intelligence to, to, to a university. So they shipped me off to Stanford. Oh, okay, where did you study there? Well, I'll read them all to you, okay? Algebra trig, physics, chemistry, English, history, and human geography, all at once. But after a while, they, I think they figured out I was going to be a four-pointer, so I, I guess you might say I flunked out, and they shipped me to an engineer training center. And what was your involvement in World War II? Well, I, I, after I left the schooling, I went to an engineer training center in Fort Lewis, Washington, where on D-Day, when they landed in Normandy, I was in the hospital with a case of the mumps. So that's always been something. Now that's more or less covers the uh, Stanford episode. The second object is these four patches. Uh, each of them has a little bit of a story. Okay. This is the 104th Infantry Division I mentioned earlier. Now, if I'd have stayed in that outfit, they went overseas in the Seventh Corps in France, and it had the honor—I guess you call it an honor—of liberating or capturing the first large German city, Cologne, Germany. This patch is for the ASTP program I was speaking of at Stanford. The patch has the lamp of knowledge with a sword of valor superimposed upon it. Now these people, this program later was disbanded when the casualty rate went up in the Battle of the Bulge and in France, so they shipped these people over as infantry replacements. But I was in the engineering, so I ended up in these two service commands of all places, Camp Perry, Ohio, Camp Perry, which near Port Clinton. And, and the military police, we had German POWs we were guarding there. And the last stage of my Army career was at Camp Atterbury, Indiana, in a separation center. We were processing discharge of soldiers before my discharge. So that's about everything, unless you have questions.